So how critical are those seconds? Tonight, we take you inside a training rescue to find out. Here's Fox 7's Greg Waite. For most of us, getting hurt or dying on the job isn't something we think of. But for rescue workers, it's a common occurrence because they never know what their next rescue will entail. Over the next couple of minutes, take a ride in their shoes. See what it takes to save a life because one day that life may be yours. Evansville 911, what is your emergency? The first emergency calls registered just after 2 o'clock, alerting rescuers the car on Baseline Road had just burst into flame. Hey, where are you on Baseline, ma'am? Without hesitation, 911 dispatches the closest crews while still getting vital information on the phone. Near the Scott Township Fire Department. Okay. Can you tell if anyone is in the vehicle? Within seconds, dispatchers find the closest crew several minutes away on a different call. Fire engine four. Fire engine four. Fire engine four. Once en route, crews are forced to suit up while the truck barrels full speed ahead to get on scene. All right, ma'am, we have the help on the way. Thank you. Back at Central Dispatch, the passerby hangs up relieved that help is on the way. But the job of the dispatcher isn't over yet. Now they have to stay in constant contact with those arriving crews. Three minutes and counting, firefighters size up that blaze, noticing the smoke and flames are contained inside the car. Jennifer, cool window. Immediately, they start attacking the flames any way they can. Four minutes now, crews start breaking out windows, trying to get inside that fire any way they can. And all of a sudden, they notice something moving. It's a person. Immediately, life flight is put on standby. Air medics pull IVs from the fridge, while crews ready the air ambulance to fly at a moment's notice. Seven minutes and counting, crews start using extrication tools to get inside that car. Quickly, they notice the victim is suffering from burns, can't assess the true extent of her injuries because she's still trapped inside. Life flight is dispatched, expected on scene in less than five minutes. But on this day, they encounter air traffic control problems because of where the scene is and its close proximity to the airport. On the ground, crews quickly scour the area, looking for a landing zone, stable enough for the aircraft to touch down. While in the air, flight medics are briefed by dispatch about the condition of the patient so they can better prepare for a speedy transport. 12 minutes, and crews have been able to free our victim from the vehicle, getting a better view of her condition, ensuring constant contact with Life Flight, who will take over her care in just minutes. Luckily, ground crews have secured a flat enough area suitable for landing. It's been 15 minutes now since that initial call was received. She any or any other Both Life Flight medics have taken over care of our victim, preparing her for a commute to St. Mary's for continued care. Within seven minutes of landing and 20 minutes of the initial call, our victim is airborne. Medics are assessing her condition, starting IVs and talking with the ER, preparing them for what's ahead. Less than five minutes later, life flight is on the ground. Crews ready to transport our victim straight to the trauma unit. Less than 30 minutes after the initial call, our victim is free from the tangled mess that was her car. 27 minutes, nine rescue workers, all to save one life. An average response time these rescue workers try to improve on every day, but they always can't because they never know what they'll find when they get on scene. Does it stop them? Not for one moment because they know that moment could be the difference between life and death. With photographer Leslie Salma, I'm Greg Waite, Fox 7 News. So how do those rescue workers keep themselves calm when the tension runs high? Well, go inside the rescue you just saw second by second, see why each rescue worker reacted the way they did and why they risked their lives rushing to a scene to save others. It's a hero's story. You don't want to miss it tomorrow night on Fox 7 News at 9.